Uh, hi, everyone. <laughs> I feel like I'm sitting in the darkest room. I know it probably looks lighting wise okay to you guys because I'm using just natural light. <laughs> it's, the rest of the room is so dark. It feels like almost nighttime. And in fairness, it is 2 p.m. It will be dark here in two hours, which is just so hard to get used to. And I'm so glad it's not like this year round for us. But anyway, hi, welcome. If you are new here, my name is Jessica. Thanks for clicking on this video. So today we're going to talk about empties. These are products I've used up. We have a lot. This may have been the longest I've waited between empties videos. I'm just trying to, I never, I guess I could just look, <laughs> but I was trying to remember the last time I did one of these and this has been, this has been piling up for a while. So I'm excited to share. There are a lot of new things I've been trying that I want to share some thoughts on and of course some old favorites too. I'll have everything linked below that I mentioned. And I also want to take a second to thank today's video sponsor, which is HelloFresh. I've been working with and using HelloFresh for so many years now. I genuinely have lost count. So if you've never heard of HelloFresh, it is a meal delivery service. We absolutely love it. Like I said, it is so easy. It is so convenient and it actually saves us money and time. And that is huge, especially this time of year where we're all just you're really busy, I feel like most of us are, and so it's nice to be able to save time and money where you can. I love that you always get a really easy to follow recipe card with pictures and step-by-step -step instructions. I also love that if you're short on time, they have their quick and easy options that have 20 minute meals, they have easy cleanup dishes. They're still absolutely delicious, but they're just so much quicker, which I really appreciate. <laughs> Plus each recipe comes with pre-portioned ingredients that come right to your door so you can skip the grocery store and a lot of the planning and prep that goes along with it. Plus they have over 35 recipes available to choose from each week. And so there's something for everyone. They've got family friendly options, which is what we typically go for since we do have young kids. They've got fit and wholesome. They've got veggie options. And you can easily customize your meals by swapping proteins or sides. You can upgrade your proteins. And I really like that ingredients travel from the farm to your home in less than seven days. So you know that what you're getting is fresh. And whether you're hosting a holiday party or maybe you're stocking up on snacks, you'll find everything you need at HelloFresh Market. They've got quick breakfast, charcuterie boards, desserts, and in the end, HelloFresh is cheaper than grocery shopping. It's 25% less expensive than takeout and their meals have 20% fewer calories than takeout as well. So it's just all around so convenient. I love that you can adjust when you're getting your deliveries. You can change your address. You can change your preferences all with just a few clicks on their website. So if you want to check out HelloFresh for yourself, you can go to hellofresh.com and use code jbrawn18 for 18 free meals plus free shipping. I'll have that link and everything right at the top of the description box for you. Okay, moment of truth, it's still piping hot. I love lemon and dill together. I know Tyler does too. Tyler, I think you're gonna like this. Oh, I can and I'm, smell that I'm gonna like it. it. The whole house smells really good. I'm a big fan of couscous, like pearl couscous, which is what's in this. So that has me really excited. I'm gonna need to blow on this for a second though. Okay. Oh my gosh. Flavors are just so good. And again, these are things I feel like if I were making a meal, I'm not as likely to like actually go out to the store and buy the fresh dill and like those kinds of things. So that's what I really like about this. They, it's sent to you. So you're gonna get to use it. You use it up, you don't waste any, and you didn't have to go and buy all of those separate little ingredients. So. This is really good. Tyler, you're gonna really like this one. All right. So, cheers, let us do this. I'm gonna actually organize these and we'll go by category. Instead of having it just be a super chaotic video, let me organize these and we'll, we'll do, do some categorizing. All right, let's start with makeup empties because I actually have more than I feel like I usually have. So, one empty is the, the Purito Sika Clearing BB Cream. This has a little bit left. Honestly, it expired and I, it's just time. I love this stuff so much. I need to repurchase it. I bought mine on Amazon and I have the shade number 23. I could probably go down to 21. And in fact, I might have shade 21 in my collection now that I'm thinking about it. So I might pull that out, especially in the winter when I like really have no color or like no, I don't put on typically self tanner like in the winter or anything. Um, that it might be perfect, but I just love this stuff. It's such a neutrally almost gray shade, which works for me weirdly well. And I don't know, I just love it. The skin looks flawless. This is absolutely on par with the Misha BB Cream. You guys know I love both of them. They look so, so similar, so similar. So I really feel like you go either way. They're both around the same price point as well, but absolutely love this. Would slash, I guess, have purchased again. No surprise that I finished up the Makeup by Mario Brown Eyeliner. This stuff, I, I used it again today. Of course, I have a liquid liner on top, but this is just my favorite everyday liner. I do have one that's kind of creeping up as a new favorite that honestly performs about the same. 
I feel like price wise though, they're also about the same. So it's not like it's a cheaper dupe. I'm still on the hunt for a like drugstore dupe for this. That's like at least half the price. Cause this is around 20 bucks. I love this stuff so much. It stays on the water line. Like I put it on my upper water line. It never transfers down, it stays all day. I just love it. My favorite shade is the perfect brown. It is always sold out. It is always sold out. <laughs> I also continually use up the e.l.f. Wow Brow. I am starting to feel like this is the shade neutral brown. And it's definitely my shade, but I just feel like I need either something a little bit deeper because a lot of times I'll put it in. I don't know. I feel like it, it's just drying up quickly. So I, I, I don't know if it's because a lot of the ones I have are older. I finally like weeded through and I have my one fresh one. So I know that one's new. So I need to pay attention if I need to get a different shade or not, but I love this stuff. It's $4. So good. I also used up the Winky Lux. I was actually sad to use this up. The Winky Lux lip balm. It's called their Muru Muru Butter Lip Sleeping Mask. Mm, oh, it definitely is starting to smell odd though, but smells like good vanilla. It feels amazing on the lips. I would totally buy this again. I have like four lip masks that I'm using, so I'm not allowing myself to but if I ever went through them all, this is definitely like top three favorite lip masks. I love this. And if you like vanilla, go get this. You can get it at Target. I can link it on Target's site too. It's so good. Also used up some minis of the Grande Brow. I thought for sure one of these was the Lash. Um, I finally, during some of the sales, got like some full size ones. This is my Holy Grail Brow Serum. I also have the Lash Serum. It makes such a difference. But as I always say, you have to keep using it to keep the results. So once they get you, they've got you, you know, but it works. I have to say it like absolutely works. Let's move into skincare. So this may be the most skincare like for the face I've ever used up. Um, cause I was working through a lot of things and I feel like everything kind of, I use it all up around the same time. And there are some goodies and there are some that I'm like, mm. so I'm excited. To, I'm excited to talk some skincare here. I feel like it's been a while since I've really talked about skincare. I do want to do in the new year, like a skincare routine video. I don't think I've done one of those in years. And I think the re the thing that like stops me from doing them is skincare is so personal and everyone has, and I know I obviously talk about it here, but I don't know. Anytime I've ever done any sort of skincare routine thing in the past, I feel like it's just a barrage of comments of people just mad about skincare stuff. I don't know. It's, it's wild. So that's why I've always held back. But I think I'm at a point where I'm like, I mean, I know what I like. I just want to share with you guys what I use and I get a lot of requests for it. So Point is that is to come maybe in January, I'll do a skincare routine video, but let's start with some, um, a new find. This I bought on Amazon. It is the Purito from green cleansing oil. I really liked this. It removed my makeup. I am, I have grown so fond of cleansing oils with a pump that I can just go to town with without having to like squirt it or without having to like dig it out of a, like a balm, which I love makeup cleansing balms too, but there is just something about having just the ability to squirt it that I just <laughs> really, I just like it. So I liked this. I don't know that it was so amazing that I would need to buy it again, but I feel like if I were in a pinch and I didn't want to, I mean, it was, I think it was like around between 10 and $15. I would buy it again. I thought it was really good. So you guys know, I love me some Tatcha products. <laughs> I really do. This is the Tatcha Violet C Brightening Serum. I really enjoyed this. I feel like because I, I have a couple vitamin C serums I like just as much and they're so much cheaper, like the May Love one, the Glow Maker, I absolutely love. And it is so much cheaper than this. And I feel like my results are similar, if not maybe better um, with the May Love. And I like that the May Love I can easily use under makeup and it works really well. I, I have to say though, I never, did I try this under makeup? I feel like I did anyway. So I really like it. But I feel like in the realm of Tatcha, there are other products. If you're going to spend the money, like their Indigo Serum in Cream is like, do I have an empty here? Oh, I should because it was empty. Did I accidentally recycle that? Well, let me also mention, I'll pop a picture. The, t <laughs> the Tatcha Indigo Serum in Cream. I used up another one of those. I already have my next one open. That is expensive. I absolutely love it. I know I used to have a code with them. I think it might not still be working. If it is, I'll put it below. If it's not either way, it is like next level. I use it every night as like my moisturizer, but it also is a serum within it. So it's like two in one and it is amazing. My skin loves it anyway. So I like this, but again, if you're going to go the top route, I would get that. So the Ula Henriksen strength trainer peptide boost. I really liked this. I feel like a lot of people like it. It's, um, it, it smells like the purple Play-Doh from Cranium and I can't explain that you ever played that game. I know some of you guys are like, you totally know what I mean, but it was just a really nice moisturizer. This is one is if it were like one of the Ulta 50% off deals, I would totally buy it again. 
I don't know that I would, I mean, I, who wants to buy anything full price, Jess? But you know what I mean? Like there are certain products you're like, I would totally still pay full price. Like if I ran out, this is one I think I would wait until it was like on sale, but I do really like it. A lot of these are in like little beauty kits and stuff too, or like sets. So if you could find that, I would, I would recommend it. I really enjoyed it. Plus I just, I like the way it looks. <laughs> is this too much? I've worn this a few times in videos and I always get a mixed reaction. Sometimes it sticks up too high, but to be honest, y'all, this went in my hair today because I, my hair is like kinked in every which way. And I'm like, I don't know what to do with it. It looked weird in a ponytail. It looked weird in a bun, looked weird down. Like I was like, I don't know what to do. So here we are. This is what I did. I, I'm just drawing your attention away from my hair and just putting it on, <laughs> on the bow. Okay. Okay. So I also love this, will buy again, but I'm using up some other things. So this is, it's looking real weird right now. The Herbivore Phoenix Oil. This is usually like filled with an orange serum. Ooh, I loved this. I even had like a little travel size I would refill and travel with it, but now I'm out of that too. It's just, it's got rose hip seed oil in it and other stuff too. And rose hip seed oil is one of my absolute favorites. I'm using just the plain one from The Ordinary right now, which I also love. But this, I just, I love the mixture of the oils. It feels so good on the skin, especially in the winter. I'm starting to notice some dryness, like especially in my nose. So I might repurchase this because I feel like that, I, I don't know. There's something magical about this oil. One that I was like, it was not bad, but it wasn't great. It's the Naturium Intense Overnight Sleeping Cream. I don't think this is terrible by any means. I just don't think it's anything special. I can't believe I used it up as far as I did. I ended up starting to use it like on my hands. Cause again, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. It just doesn't feel like super special. I will say though, if you like a really thick moisturizer cream, this is definitely like that. So um, Naturium I know is sold at uh, Target. I don't like highly recommend it, but it, it is a good, just very basic cream. Um, I also used up the Drunk Elephant F Balm. I know that didn't even focus on it, but just wanting to make sure there's any kids in a room. In a room, Jessica. <laughs> Guys, we've been filming every day for Vlogmas and my brain, I feel, I don't, I just feel like I, I don't even know. Anyway, this is like a, it says it's called, it's a water facial. It's like a mask you can put on. Um, it says this cooling, quenching overnight mask, plumps and restores, uh, blah, blah, blah. So here's the thing. I actually did like it, but I, I, I might even have some still in here. Um, just barely. So yeah, it's just like a cream. Um, and you can put it on. I would put it on kind of as like my last step. Sometimes if I were just like in a rush, I'd wash my face and just stick this on everywhere and move on. I liked that I kind of had this as an option for that. I don't know though that it has such a place in my skincare routine that I would need to buy this again. Speaking of Drunk Elephant, I've got their Proteiny Power Peptide Resurf Serum. I did really like this. So right now I'm using the Polish Choice BHA uh, exfoliant. I liked this though, cause it was a serum, but it's still got the like exfoliating qualities in it. It's got lactic acid and it goes on more like a serum versus a like liquid. So if you'd prefer that, I really did like this. I could see myself buying it again. Like once I'm like, if I were wanting to switch it up, I just love the Paula's Choice one so much, but this one is really, really good. This, I think at this point is mostly empty and it's just about expired. The Murad Essential C uh, SPF. This is a favorite. I do feel like this, like some people like it, some people don't. It is white. And so at first I was like, when I first tried it years ago, I was like, oh, absolutely not, you know, but it, it, it goes on like a moisturizer. It doesn't go on like, you know how some SPFs, they're like so thick, like the zinc oxide that you're like just rubbing it back and forth and it looks crazy. This is truly just feels like a moisturizer. There's no, at least what I've noticed, there's no white cast. It just looks like you're putting a white cream on your face that just blends in like a lotion. So I really, really like this. I feel like if you had oily skin, I don't think this would be the one for you, but if you have dry skin, you would love this SPF and it does play nice with makeup, which is why I've gone through a couple of these bottles. Something like a dupe-ish for this, I'm sure ingredient wise, it's not exactly a dupe, but very, very similar product is the um, Milani SPF BFF. That's like around $10 and this is like, I'm embarrassed to say how much this is. Um, so if you want a similar vibe, that is so, so similar um, that I would also recommend that. And that I've actually, that's at the workspace. I think that one's almost empty too. So I should have brought it with me. So I used up this eye cream, the Ren Brightening Dark Circle Eye Cream. Eye cream is one of those things you really don't have to use. Like most dermatologists, like you really don't, you can just use your moisturizer. I just, I'm a person that likes eye cream. Like I like using it, but I really lately have been looking for a new eye cream that just wows me and I really haven't found it. So I do like this though. Um, 
I just feel like I'm I'm still on the hunt for like the Holy Grail eye cream. So if you have one that you just feel like is unbelievable, let me know. Another vitamin C serum. This is the first product from this brand I've ever tried. This is the Holly Frog. I'm assuming that's how it's said. Sunny Side C Glow Serum. I liked this. I literally used the last bit of it up this morning. At least I think it was the last bit. Yeah. I mean, there's like maybe, maybe I'll try to get a little bit more of it. I, I don't love the packaging because it's hard to get it out of there, but I liked it. I wouldn't buy it again. I just wouldn't. Um, and no surprise here. I've already opened another. This is the La Roche Posay Hydrating Gentle Cleanser, my absolute favorite. I do think this, I love the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser. They're so similar. I think I might like this one just a little bit better. I really do, but they're both so good. And they're around the same price point too. I'm trying to make sure. Little Felicity's still sleeping. I've got her monitor here. I had to turn down the sound so you're not just listening to the sound of her white noise machine, you know? She's still sleeping. All right, let's talk hair care. Um, I want to buy this again and honestly totally forgot about how it's snowing. It is snowing. How poetically beautiful is that? They're like big flakes too. Oh, romantic snowfall. This is something I forgot about. And when I just saw it at the end, bottom of my empties bin, I was like, oh, I want to buy that again. So it's from IGK. It's their expensive high shine top coat. Learned about this from Taylor Wynn. She was not wrong. This stuff smells amazing. It makes your hair smell good. I basically use it as like a conditioner slash deep conditioning mask. It, Cause it's described as an in shower gloss treatment to protect and enhance color and shine. A, I could use that. Cause I do feel like my ends are looking a little like just dry, drier than normal. It says, um, use it one to two times a week in place of your conditioner. Um, like I said, that's, that's pretty much how I used it. So it was kind of like a deep conditioner. I love it. In fact, where's my phone? I think I'm gonna add it to my cart now. So next time I check out, I will already have it. This will go on sale from time to time. So like right now, full price is $32. I would still buy it full price. That's how much I really liked it. And I noticed the difference, but I might let it kind of sit. We'll see. But anyway, really a big fan of that. So something I'm just not sure how I feel about. It's the Matrix Biolage Volume Bloom Shampoo and Conditioner. I actually bought this a while ago. I'm starting to wonder, <laughs> Did I mention this in my last empties? Because they were almost empty then and I've just like, once a week I'll grab them and use a little bit more. <laughs> so now I'm starting to worry that a few months ago I mentioned it in there and I still have them. It smells really good. It smells like cotton and fresh laundry and I've never really smelled that in a, um, okay, now it's like a legit snow. Let me show you a little clip. You can see my laundry there that I need to put away. Look at that. Ooh. So cool. Anyway, it smells like fresh laundry and I've never had my hair smell like that. So I, I liked that. I don't think the smell lingered a very long time, but it was enjoyable to like use in the shower. But I just don't know that I noticed a huge like volume change in my hair. So if you were buying it for that reason, I don't think it was bad. I don't think it weighed my hair down, which is nice because some do. But yeah, I don't know that I would need to buy it again, but I liked it. I generally feel like stuff from the Matrix Biolage line, I tend to like well enough. My favorite hair mask, the Maui Moisture Shea Butter. So this, I should say, this is tied with the Shea Moisture uh, one. Ooh, I might buy that one again because it's been a while. Um, I'll link it below which one I'm talking about, but it, it's, it, it's really similar and they both smell really good too. Mm, this one smells like a straight up, straight up pina colada. Smells incredible. Love the way this makes my hair feel. I think that's it. I feel like my hair feels dry because I have not been using deep, conditioners lately. I've just been using, which, you know, it is what it is. But I also, for the first time, got any color put in my hair. And so I'm like, was that really it? Like, does it happen that fast? But I'm like, but it's not all of my hair. And even the ends that weren't colored feel drier. I'm just thinking out loud here. Problem solving. <laughs> Okie dokie. So one of my absolute favorites, the Ava NYC Main Magic Primer. This I use as like my detangler. I'm using a different one right now from Pacifica and I'm not it's kind of like a thicker and I'm, I'm not a huge fan of it I definitely I already have another one of these so when I'm through that I'm going back to this going back to this baby It works really well at detangling. It's also like a heat protectant kind of does everything and it smells good mm. And the price point is not bad. Okay, the heritage by Mindy McKnight all of these products smell so good The price is right on these. I think you can get them at Walmart. Um, I know they've sent some of these to me in PR Listen, I'm trying their hairspray. This is their texturizing spray. Their dry shampoo I'm really enjoying. So like, there's a lot from that line that I'm like, okay, I love it. Also, I have like the Ava NYC hair perfume 
And I'm like, hey, Heritage, you should take the smell that you're always using and make a hair perfume out of it because it smells so good. But anyway, I like this texturizing spray. I would totally buy it again. I feel like it's on par with high-end texturizing sprays I've tried, but this smells even better too. Texture spray I'll usually use if I'm doing like a messy bun and I need, you know, you like need a little grit to your hair. Um, that's when I'll use it. I'll also use it like if I'm trying to braid my hair, that's not very often. Um, or if I just like my hair air dried and it's feeling limp, texturizing spray kind of gives it a little bit of like life. <laughs> Why is my nose so itchy? Also the Amika Perk Up Dry Shampoo. I like, this is a favorite. I try to wait until it's on sale and then I usually buy it. Um, I did get their like Perk Up Plus Dry Shampoo. I haven't used it yet, but it's like their new one. I'm curious. I'm like, how do they plus it? Does it make your hair even, does it soak up more? Like, <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Used up two of the Bedhead Masterpiece. This is, these were the last two I had. Like I bought like a four pack or something crazy on Amazon. And I think these are the la the final two. I've been trying to find a more natural hairspray. Y'all, none of them compare. <laughs> I'm trying a few, um, but I there are some that I, I do enjoy. And I don't know if there's anything wrong with this. I, I should start by saying that. Bedhead, their dry shampoo was part of that big recall, right? And so I've never tried their dry shampoo, but it freaked me out enough that I'm like, what if everything from Bedhead, you know, but I've never heard anything about, you know what I mean? I don't think it's any worse than other hairsprays, I should say that. Now, obviously there's more natural ones out there that might be better, which is why I'm like trying to branch out, but man, none of them are stacking up to this. So I do have another one of these that I'm, I'm using because I missed it. All right, let's talk body care. So first up, I used up the Tree Hut Vitamin C Sugar Scrub. If you've ever looked at like the scrubs area of like Ulta, let's say, or even like Target, and you see all the Tree Hut scrubs and there's like 15, and you're like, how do I even pick? Get this one. <laughs> it is the best one because it also has AHA, so it literally will help to exfoliate your skin. Like I really feel like this makes a difference in my skin, especially like I've got, I get the red bumps, the keratosis pilaris, and I really like, as long as I'm using this, I really don't have that issue very much. Like I don't have the flare up. So I absolutely love it. I feel like it actually does something for my skin beyond just the like physical exfoliation. So I love that it kind of does both. Plus it smells good too. It's kind of citrusy. You already know there's always one of these in my empties. This is the Tree Hut Coconut Lime Shave Oil. I love this. I love it. I've already bought it again. I'm waiting, Tree Hut, for you to come out with an unscented version. What is it gonna take? It cannot be that hard because I'm like, I, I like the smell and they have the vanilla. I don't like that vanilla smell. They have, I think they, they have a rose one and I think they even released yet another one. I'm like, please come out with the unscented one. I don't need a scent. I just want, I love the formula. I don't need the smell, please. Cause like I use fragrance-free body wash typically for a reason because my skin can react like, wait, come on. <laughs> All right, I've got the, um, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce the name, mineral bath salt. I love the stuff with Arnica. It's like 20-ish dollars at Ulta, my absolute favorite. I always buy it, it really, makes my muscles relax in the bathtub. It is incredible. So I will always repurchase that. I also used up the La Roche-Posay Lipid Car Balm. This is my favorite all over body lotion. Again, fragrance free. So again, with my Keratosis Pilaris, like none of that flares up as long as I'm using this. So holy grail, already have another one open. Absolutely love. And you can use it on everyone in the family. <laughs> and then I also used up some toothpaste. I've got the Burt's Bees Extra White. It was okay. Um, the Crest 3D White, is this the Oh yeah, it was just their regular. It was good. Stain eraser is what I'm back to and that stuff works, man. I'm telling you it works. And then I used a, a Ritual Multivitamin, which you guys know I love. Um, I work with them a lot. I'm obviously not working with them on this video, but I used up yet another every month. I just saved one because I figure you didn't need to see one for every month. <laughs> anyway, so that is everything. <laughs> that was so much fun. Like I said, it's been so long since I've done one of those. So it was like, whoa, it's going to be nice to have an empty tub. This was under my sink and just filling up and spilling out all over the place. So again, thank you to this video sponsor, which is HelloFresh. If you want to check them out for yourself, you can go to hellofresh.com and use code jbron18 for 18 free meals plus free shipping. I'll have that link and information right at the top of the description box for you. Thank you to them for sponsoring. And thank you guys for watching all the way to the end. If you have not subscribed, I would love if you did. That will make it so that my videos are pushed to your newsfeed. So when you pop onto YouTube, you'll see if I've uploaded new videos, um, maybe old videos of mine you might've missed. Um, and of course it supports me. So thank you ahead of time. And thank you guys for watching. I think I already said that. Anyway, love you. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.